Squirreled away in this dark Kidderminster loft was a big furry secret. Hidden behind the wooden trusses for almost 30 years, a horde of taxidermy creatures sitting in silence. Collected by her late husband, below, 62-year-old Julie was none the wiser. We had a leak and um, so we got some workmen to come and do some work in the loft. And while they were there, they asked me if I, I was aware that there were cases, and I thought they were meaning suitcases. And then they said, oh, no, there's like animals in cases. And I was just shocked, really, to see that there were all these taxidermy items. At the beginning of their almost 30 years together, Julie became well aware of her husband Kevin's interest in taxidermy. But she had no idea how vast his collection really was. Now being stored, ready for auction near Stafford, it includes a 1920s lion's head with real teeth, a white rabbit and a multitude of fish and birds. The significance of this collection is basically it dates back to Victorian times, circa 1860s. And back then people had a natural interest in taxidermy and natural history. And this collection captures that with animals and species from around the world. Until now, the loft was never really a place that Julie would go. She says she'd often hold the ladder for Kevin, but didn't really know what he did with his time up there. Why do you think it is that he actually hid it from you? I don't know, really. <laughs> I don't know whether he thought I'd just be annoyed that he was spending money on taxidermy or or he just got a kick out of hiding it away. Of course, the art of preserving an animal's body after death isn't for everyone, but this significant collection has been priced at around £10,000. An interesting discovery that when sold will likely provide Julie with a lofty sum. Lewis Warner, ITV News, Blakedown, near Kidderminster.